the book of Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, says the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Kohala Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rekakudash. Again, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Kohala Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rekakudash. Let's give double honors to our head apostles from the great millstone, the elders, the bishop that taught us this truth. Salutation, peace to the Lord's elect. That's right. This is a family affair. The Lord's elect start with the 144,000, the men of the Lord that are on the street corners, the highways, the byways, doing the lesson, feeding the sheep, followed by the large multitude, men, women, children, whom the Lord is going to have mercy upon, mentioned in the book of Revelation 7, 9 and 2 Ezra chapter 2 verse 42. Eh? We say Barakata Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Yes, indeed, this world is about to be set on fire. Family, three assassinations in the past 72 hours. Yes, family, we're going to bring it to you. How Turner is, break, is breaking news, breaking news. Yes, family, but family, let's read on. Let's bring this article. It's not going to be too long. Just want to bring a few things out. Okay, just to tell you what is happening around the world today. Hey, it's all about prophecy, 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 occupied in prophecy. That's what the Lord says. You see, Hal Turner is, is a chief of Iran National Police assassinated. Hmm? The chief of Iranian police, Ahmad Reza Redan, has been assassinated. News reports say seven bullets hit his body. Sort of makes you wonder if the crash this past weekend of the Iranian presidential helicopter, which killed the Iranian president and foreign minister, was really an accident. Are waiting further, family. Oh, the Lord is about to set this world on fire because, family, this is prophecy. Hmm? This is prophecy. This is leading to what the second coming of our Lord. Hey, let's go on. Iran intelligence service, family. These all happen today. Today, Iran intelligence service chief assassinated. Hmm? You think they're just going to sit back and watch Israel, eh? America? Because family, it's all about what? The new world order. It's all about what? The American dollar. To control the resource in the Middle East. So if anybody step in that way, if anybody challenge that unipolar, family, this is going to be the end result. That's why Esau is not going to give up the kingdom like that. You see, the Lord is setting up perfectly because he's going to force this nation to, uh, to fight each other. And then our king, the redeemer of Israel, Yahweh is going to step in and level all their military. That's what is coming. So yes, it's assassination after assassination after assassination. That's why it's, that's what the Lord says. Family, a precept just popped in my spirit. I'm going to go. I'm going to open up another window here. Let's go here. Let's bring out. Oh, I am excited. I am excited. Mm, Barakatiya. Power. <coughs> Excuse me. Second Ezra chapter. I, see, I think it's. Uh, oh, I think it's 16. Mm, let's go straight to the point. I think is it. Uh, what is this here? Second Ezra chapter 16 verse. Um, oh, yeah. It says here. Let's go. It says here. Oh, let's change this here. And. Um, it says second Ezra chapter 16, verse 36. No, let's do one. Let, let's go first. Let's do it. Let's read it in the good news translation. Let's go here. Let's go. Let's bring out the good news translation. Let's go to oh, let's get here. What am I going? GNT. Where is the second Ezra? Did I miss it? Yeah, second Ezra. Where is that? Yeah, right here. Second Ezra. We're gonna go to chapter 16. We're gonna pick it up from verse. Uh, verse uh, 35. Now, it says God's people must prepare for what? For the end. Listen to this. This is to the elect. It says, now listen. This is 2nd Ezra 
chapter 16, starting from verse 35. Now listen to my message, you people who serve the Lord. It is the Lord's message, so receive it and believe what believe what he says. The disasters are approaching rapidly. Mm? The tribulation, family, and they will not be delayed. Family, Iranian president, Raisi, family, his chopper was blown up few days ago assassinated that's right and all of a sudden you telling me that all this assassination this past 72 hours family is coincident no it is the lord the lord is tearing things up so the lord is telling you that what the disasters listen to this the disasters are approaching rapidly so if the lord said the disasters are approaching rapidly eh as an Israelite, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, African American is it time this is is this the time to be having parties hmm this is the time to seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Because guess what? This system is collapsing fast. And we know that it's leading to the what? Microchip. Revelation 13, 16 is also coming. The hour of temptation. He says here, and they will not be delayed. You hear that? Again, the disasters are approaching rapidly and they will not be delayed. A woman in the ninth month of pregnancy may suffer labor pains for several hours but when the time comes for the baby to be born there is no longer any delay are you listening to this it says what they should it's, it says here it's, let me go back it says a woman in the ninth month of pregnancy may suffer labor pains for several hours but when the time comes for the baby to be born, there is no longer any delay. Family, the plane went down less than 72 hours ago. It was what? It was what? Sunday, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yes, family. We have two assassinations today. Intelligence officer. Eh? And then let, let's read on. It says what? The Lord says they are not going to delay, right? It says, listen to my message. No, no, no. It says, in the same way, the disasters that are coming on the earth will not be delayed. And the world will groan when it is caught in its labor pains. Listen to my message, my people, and get ready for the battle. You hear that? Get ready for the battle. Seeking ye the Lord, doing the best that you can, preparing your mind for what is coming. Hey? It says, when the disasters come, you must live as people whose home is not in this world. That is not our home. The microchip, a family is going to get so bad that family, when they bring the microchip, majority of the people are going to take it because they got to eat. But you so you so-called Negroes, Latinos, African American, this message is for you. You take it, the Lord is going to kill you. Period. End of discussion. We're not here to butter it up for you. You're going to either eat the missiles, mm? it's going to burn you alive. Hey, that's right. He says you can't take it. Revelation 13, 16, the next chapter over 14, it tells you. Yes, it is a physical mark. It's not you sleeping with white women mm, or dating the, uh, the nations or worshiping, uh, going to church or, you know, worshiping Buddha. Al no, it is a physical mark that's going to go under your skin. Revelation 13 says it's a karagma. They're going to, that's right. They're going to prick you. It's going to, it's going to have everything, all your information on it. It's like a, it's a grain of rice that's going to go under your skin. We're going to continue to bring out the disasters are coming. And the, the Lord said they are not slack. Like a woman in labor, in labor pains, family, they are, if the, that baby is coming, you think that baby is going to go back into the belly? No, the woman is pushing that baby out. That's how, family, the disasters are approaching rapidly. Let's go here. Eh? It says the head of the Iranian intelligence, family, this is this afternoon. The head of the Iranian intelligence service of Lorenstan province in Iran has been assassinated. This comes after the chief of Iran national police was also assassinated today. More information as it becomes available. That is what has happened. Immediately after that, Russia breaking. Russia begins nuclear weapon drills. Family, it said the Russian forces have launched the first phase of high-stake non-strategic nuclear weapons drills in the southern military district. 
exercises include obtaining and equipping Iskander missiles with special ammunition and covertly moving to launch position, arming Kinzhal missile with nuclear warheads for air defense system, conducting flights to designated patrol areas, and these exercises are using actual nuclear weapons, real warheads. But family, I want to bring this uh, precept. It's all about glorifying the Lord. Because this particular assa this assassination family is only going to get worse. Oh, yeah. And then because what? It's going to lead to this prophecy. Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 30 says, He said, Behold, look, the word of the Lord. Receive it. Believe no, 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 no. That's not what I'm looking for. No, no, no. This is 17. Sorry. I was reading something. Else. It says here, Second Ezra 15, 28. Behold, an horrible vision. And the appearance thereof from the east. The east, family. Who's, who's located in the east? That's Iran. The global south, family. Russia is in the east, part of the east. Turkey, part of the... Oh, that's it, that's right. It says here, let's go on. It says, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia... Right now, we have the Yemenis. We have all that, that whole so-called Middle East, which is what? West Asia. They all prepare. These are what? The Arabians. They says here, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, many drones, many aircraft. That's right. These are the chariots, right? Ch aircraft, uh, uh, submarines. And that's right. Planes, family, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Family, these are what? The weapons of the Lord's indignation. That's right. His righteous anger. All these military, all these weapons belong to the Lord. But it says here, Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth. This is also what you can link this with what Ezekiel 38, because Russia eventually is going to protect Iran. Because family, Persia is the first name mentioned in the book of Ezekiel, the nation that Russia is going to protect. The Lord says, you prepare yourself eh? and then also the ones that I'm going to uh, give you. And the Lord lists all the nations that are going to be what uh, uh, protected by who? Russia. Russia is going to be a guard unto these nations. That's what is coming. And the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. That is what is coming. Because why? Netanyahu won this war. And the prime minister of Israel, the moment this war stopped, man, he's going to jail. So he wants to what? Family, bring everybody in. Because prophecy have to be fulfilled. He said the least of the flock shall draw everybody in. All these assassinations that are taking place, who do you think is behind it? America and what? And Israel. Family, because it's all about the dollar. Also, the Kamenians raging in wrath shall go forth. The Kamenians are what? The modern day Iran. You hear that? The modern day Iran. So all you are witnessing right now, eventually, family, that's right, the gloves are going to come off. Because Israel, according to Ezekiel 38, is going to be leveled. Yes, it is going to be leveled. And then America is next. Oh yeah, the missiles are coming. That's what the Lord, the Bible says, although a terrorist, wait for it. It says the vision. What is the vision? The vision is the prophecy. He said, the vision is for an appointed time, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. He says, although it tarries, wait for it. It shall surely come. That's right. The Lord doesn't lie. This vision, family, the prophecies are popping off the pages. So if you are an Israelite and you don't take heed to this message, the Lord is going to kill you. Hey? He says, also the Kamenians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood and with great power. Shall they come and join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of Assyrians? That is America today. Hey? This is all you see, all these things that's happening right now. This that's why the Lord says, What well, measure down the time diligently in itself. And he saw self proclaimed white man. Guess what? He knows that what he has but a short time. He's running out of time. So if he figures, guess what? Uh, there's a meeting coming up. I think it's the end of this month, a major meeting. Coming uh, uh, among the, the BRICS members, they're about to introduce what? They are, they are the BRICS currency. Hey, American dollar is about to be collapsed. But they think what? They're going to continue to hold on to power. Family, every, every.
every you go back in history every kingdom before it, it collapsed family it goes into a war every war leading to a, a rebirth the same way you go back to a, a what is it called um, all the kingdom that the lord set up starting with the assyria babylonian i know when the meats the meats and the, it was the meat first and the pressure but it was a surgical strike but guess what when alexander the great took over when they destroyed the persia guess what it was war they destroyed the Persia. They took over. The Roman came destroyed, uh, and then defeated the uh, the uh, what is it called uh, the Greek, and then what? It became Roman Greco Roman Empire, eh? Because they adopted some of what the Greek customs. You see, so every kingdom before it falls, family. That's right. Because this is a new kingdom coming. Yahawashai. So when Yahawashai shows up, hmm, he he's gonna take over the kingdom. And, but how is how is he gonna take over the kingdom? There will be war. Every kingdom has to collapse. And how does it collapse? It collapses by what? War. And then the new kingdom comes in. And Yahawashai's kingdom is the everlasting kingdom. And this is the war to end all wars. And Esau self proclaimed white man. He knows that he has but a short time. That's why it says in the book of Revelation 12 12. He said that that's why family is going around assassinating anybody that step in their way. Because this new world order, they have to implement it. The reset. And anybody that is against their plans, because family, America dollar, the world reserve currency, that's if the nation leaves it, there, there's nothing back in the American dollar. If the coal, the West, the West is going to collapse overnight. And that's why they can't afford that. But that's how the law set it up, though. They're going to fight for it. It's called the war of Armageddon. That's what is coming. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens. That's the elect. That's why we are, we are rejoicing. We see these things here. Firmly, yes, we are rejoicing, giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. He said, therefore, rejoice ye heaven. And ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. The one that have no clue what is happening. The one you see them still now there, from me, walking to Starbucks, and nose up in the air, and walking their little chihuahua. That chihuahua eventually going to be what? Their next meal. Because yes, it is coming. Collapse is coming. Chaos is coming. Civil war is coming. Man, there is going to be a time like no other. That is why the Lord referred it to what? As what? Jacob's trouble. Hey? Jeremiah 37. And then you link it with uh, Daniel 12 verse 1. It says it's going to be so bad that Daniel, the angels have to step in and deliver the children of Israel. That's the time that we're about to enter into. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil, which is what? The adversary, right? That's right, the false accuser. That's why Esau eat him. This is his kingdom. He's talking about a nation of people. Today they refer to themselves as European Caucasians. And then we know that there are Israelites among them. But, my, but the predominantly the people ruling today, they are known as what? The Edomites. It says here, it says here, uh, where is it? Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell there, uh, they will dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. The sea represents the people. For the devil, Esau, Edom, self-proclaimed white man, is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. That's why he's going around, family cutting people's head off, shooting them, killing them. Anybody that step in his way, and you think he's going to have mercy upon you? That's why he says in the book of Revelation 16, he says, uh, no, 2 Ezra, and 2 Ezra, uh, let's go there, 16. Esau is not playing, eh? Don't step Esau, self-proclaimed white man is playing his role in this movie. The Lord is in, her, in our power, Yahweh, and the, his only begotten son, our king, is in the heaven and he's looking at Esau. He goes, my goodness, Satan, you outdid yourself this time. Eh? It's the second Ezra 16, 68. It says, for behold, the burning wrath of great multitude is kindled over you. Family, this man is going around killing every people, anybody that step in his way. You think he's going to have mercy on the men, the men of the Lord that, that, that are, pro, uh, who are prophesying against his kingdom? No. Because why? We know. Because Ezra saw it. Ezra saw it. So Ezra is warning us. This is what is coming. Second Ezra 16 verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idol. That is what is coming. You see it? This word is coming. It says here, and they that consent unto them, they want that I agree. You're going to take the freaking microchip? 
we're telling you that this kingdom is coming to an end. You'd rather die, eh? Then family fr put that thing under your skin. And when he, if it comes to take the microchip or you die, family, you ask them, when, when can you guys take the head off? Go ahead already. That's the spirit that we have to be in. You can't be afraid. And he, they're not going to kill every single one of us. No, the Lord is going to raise a standard. We are not afraid of Esau Eden. Family, we are rejoicing. We said these things are happening. Family, we can't keep up with the prophecy. And they that consent unto them shall be what? Shall be hard in duration and in reproach and trodden underfoot. And for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Are you listening to this? The United Nations military is already in place. Hey, so family, when they collapse the system and they introduce the microchip and then they bring all type of diseases saying that, okay, here, everybody have to take this particular injection. Family, that's right. They're not going to spare anybody. That's why the Lord says here, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Oh yeah, they are coming after us. They are coming after us. If I'm even Esau either, they're going to be civil war. They they don't, they are, half of them don't believe in this new system that they're about to create. So Esau is actually going to fight their own people. And the self-proclaimed white man family is called Egyptians against Egyptians. Mentioned in the book of Isaiah 19. They're going to fight each other. And the Lord says, what well, a kingdom divided eh, cannot stand. How can Satan be divided against himself? His kingdom is going, it's not going to stand. Esau is looking at the biggest L in his life. This is what is coming for them. Victory is already written for us. We just have to go through the motions. It says, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that were fear the Lord. That's why the elect, they shall be like madmen sparing none. Family, look at what they are doing right now. Look at what Esau is doing right now. This is the last 72 hours. A president and his uh, a foreign minister and uh, other associate, gone. Now intelligence chief, gone. From Esau is not playing, eh? He said, they shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Him? He said, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. This is what is coming. And this is the mindset that we have to be in. And... Eh? We have to be in this mindset, family, stay, continue to stay prayed up. We're not telling you to be afraid. No, these things have to happen. The hour of temptation, these things have to happen for the kingdom to come. This is the part of the tribulation. We're going to be here. We're going to go through it. But for the elect, the Lord is going to protect us. Have faith. And family, believe the word, man. Believe your heart was shy. I said, then shall they be known who are my chosen. Hey? Because family, they're going to know who are my children, the one that's too stiffly. Remember, Ezra saw us receiving the, what, the victory. The Lord, our King, crowning the man of the Lord. The large multitude cheering us on. Mm. you receiving a crown from the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. It is worth it. It's if, yes, if you have to give your head up for it, it is worth it at the end. Oh, yeah. This family, this body, we're not going to, to, we're not going to the kingdom with these bodies anyways. The spirit is going to leave this body, goes into the new body. The Lord says what? The tabernacle already prepared for us. The new body is already prepared for us. We have nothing to worry about. He said, then shall they be known who are my chosen. Eh? And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. You hear that? The elect are going to be tried. The hour of temptation. But he says, no, the Lord, the Lord says, I will overcome. You, you, you see, the Lord got the victory for us. You see, the Yahweh Shaiwa, he had to endure, and we also have to endure. Whatever comes our way, we say, Lord, bring us, just give us the strength to endure. We are not asking the Lord to take it away from us. We say, give us the strength to endure, and he's going to be faithful to us. And as we are faithful to our, 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 our husband, he's going to take care of us. And you see, he says here, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. And he said, hear, oh, ye, my beloved. You hear how the Lord called you? Beloved. And says the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. You hear that? The day of trouble, Jacob's trouble. Jer uh, Jeremiah uh, 30 verse 7. He says here, but I will deliver you from the same. That's what the Lord is telling you. What are you worried about? Esau is doing, Esau is playing his role to perfection. But the Lord says what? Well, 
Hear, O ye, my beloved, says the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. He said, be ye, he said, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the power is your guide. Are you listening to this? Have no doubt. The Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear. He gave us what? Power and sound mind. Peace. Eh? Roughly power phrasing. He said, I didn't give you the spirit of fear. Eh? He said, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the power is your guide. Eh? The spirit of fear. Let's go here. Spirit of fear. Eh? He didn't give us that. Let's find out. Is it? Uh, no, that's, that's not it. Uh, Corinthians. No, 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 I think, is it, is it Philippians? <sighs> what was it? Uh, Corinthians. No, let's, let's try this again. I think it was Cor uh, Philippians, no? Did not give us the spirit of fear. Once this word enter you, family, you become fearless. Eh? It says here, where is it? Oh, yeah. So, sorry. 2 Timothy 1, 7. It says here, for the power have not given us the spirit of fear. Are you listening to this? That's what the Lord said. Have ne neither doubt. The Most High is going to be your guide in those days. That's why it says here, for the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of what? Of power. And of love and of a sound mind. A precept just pop in my spirit. Let's go here. Hmm? I think Isaiah. Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59. Let's go here quickly. And then we're going to bring the next article. Isaiah 59. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Isaiah 59. Listen to this, beloved. Isaiah 59. I think the last. The last uh, it says here. It says here. No, no. Where is it? Uh. Yes, Isaiah, Isaiah 9, straight to the point. Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Eh? It's going to come from the east. That's how it's going to come from the Lord. It's going to come from me like you see how the birds, birds, as birds fly. That's how the Lord says he's going to defend Jerusalem. Jerusalem was what? People before it became a place. Okay? So you see the bed. The first bed usually lead the park, right? And he's cutting the wind and everybody follows, right? Then you're going to see Yahweh Shai with the chariot. Eh? The king of kings coming with the chariot behind him. You're going to see Michael and the rest of the angels. Thousands of thousands of chariots. The glory of the Lord. But listen to this. It says, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy, who's the enemy? Self-proclaimed white man, Esau, Caucasian. Uh, sometimes he identifies himself as Canadian, American. That's right. The elite of this society. That's right. The one behind the scene. The one family orchestrating all these disasters upon this earth. Because remember, the sword was given to them to take what? Peace from the earth. Revelation 6, 4. He says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh. From the west, eh? and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. Eh? The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. You think they're going to catch all of us? Some of us are going to receive that spiritual power. Oh, and we are waiting for it. We are waiting for it. And I pray. And eh? <laughs> family, if the Lord gives. If we don't know who's going to receive it. But it doesn't matter. Family, we're going to be defended. You hear that? The Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear. Esau have to play his role in this movie. You have this truth here. You are sealed. Hey? We pray that we will endure to the end. Breaking news. Okay? I read this already. No, but I want to show you a video here. Let's go here. And then, yeah, Klaus Schwab. We're going to hit this too. Klaus Schwab find, decided to uh, quit. Does he know what is coming? Because family, the elite, everybody's now, the bunkers are ready and they're all going into their bunkers. All of a sudden, Klaus Schwab announced today that he's retiring. Eh? He says, oh, he's stepping back. Eh? They all know what is coming. But listen to this. Hmm? I mentioned it earlier. Earlier this month, the Ministry of Defense, this is from Sputnik Reporting. Hmm? Sputnik Reporting. It says here, Russia begins drills on preparation and use of non-strategic nuclear weapons everybody talking about nuclear because that's how the law the last battle that's how it's going to be fought family the yahweh shai said this place is going to be on fire before he shows up luke 12 49 he's going this place is going to be on fire not just any regular fire hey eh? hey eh? 
The day of the Lord is not a day where everybody's going to be holding uh, hands and singing kumbaya. The Lord is coming to kill a lot of people. That's what he's coming to do. Read uh, Jeremiah 3, 25 verse 33. He said the slain of the Lord is going to cover the entire earth. It is coming to play. The Lord is not coming to play. He's, we are his mouthpiece. We are telling you what he's about to do. When he comes, he's bringing fire. He's coming to destroy. He's coming to kill a lot of people. That's what we're telling you. Earlier this month, the Ministry of Defense announced that the Russian general staff on behalf of President Vladimir Putin had begun preparation to hold exercises with missile formations of Southern Military District and Navy forces. I want to play this video. Um, where is it? If I can play it. Let's go to Twitter. I think Twitter will not allow. Oh, look, look, look at the scene. Fam, this is what is coming. Hmm? It's Russia. Oh, they are tired because they've seen that their allies, Iran, is being attacked. So this is it. It's about to go down. Hey, we are not far from World War Three. Look at this! Look at this baby. This is beautiful, man. This is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. That's how the war is going to be fought. But family, let's bring out, let's bring out Joel. Let's glorify the Lord. Joel, the terrible, the terrible visitation. And the terrible visitation. They said, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. That's what the Lord said we should do. That's what we're doing right now. Zion is a monument. It's talking about why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, African-American, Native American. The Lord is warning you. He says, continue to warn them for me. Ezekiel 3, uh, 3, 17. Continue to warn them. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand. You hear that? It says, it is nigh at hand. It says, a day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong, there have not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Let's read this in the NLT. <clears throat> this is what is coming. It says here, it is a day of darkness. Joel 2.2. 2. It says here, and gloom, a day of thick clouds and deep blackness. And deep blackness, okay? Suddenly, like dawn spreading across the mountains, a great and mighty army appears. These are going to be the missiles. The armies the Lord is friend is are the missiles that the Lord is going to be shooting, particularly towards America. Hey, it says here, nothing like it has been seen before or will ever be seen again. You hear that? This is the last war. To end all wars. This is the last war to introduce our King Yahweh Shai. So family, it's not just going to be any ordinary war. It's called Third World War. Everybody and their uncle is going to participate in this war. That is what is coming. And that's why we are here to warn you. The Lord is not playing. The Lord is tired of this wicked place. Hey, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Family, people just get up and do whatever their heart desires. That's Esau Edom. 
They disrespect the Lord. Family, they've turned this world upside down. That's why the Bible says the whole creation is waiting for the manifest manifestation of the sons of the power. In the book of Romans 8. It's not just us, all the animals, the trees. Nothing is safe under this man's rulership. So the Lord is about to remove him. The self-proclaimed white man is not fit eh, to even look after your animals. No. No. Even Job said it. You see? Look at how sick people are. Nobody's happy. Eh? Look at the food. Everything is polluted under this man's rulership. That's what the Bible says. If the Lord doesn't cut the time short, there shall no flesh be saved. And the head of that demonic, and this, this demonic world, that's right. He is the face, but there are elite behind him. People controlling him. Davos boss quits media. Klaus Schwab and the founder of the World Economic Forum will reportedly transition to role of non-executive chairman because they know that what? Family, the time is up. They know their time is up. That's why family, they're going to sit back because in order to carry out their agenda, they need this nuclear war because guess what? It's all about depopulation the world. They said it themselves. There's too many people living. That's right. There are too many people living. That's what he says. That's why family, they are known as Satan. They are the adversary. The Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. You telling me the sovereign Lord, Yahweh, when he created the heaven and the earth, he didn't, he didn't consider that there will be many people living. So he didn't expect family. These people here, that's why the Lord is coming to remove them. They are not fit to rule. That's why the Lord has raised up his men to family to condemn these demonic people. And he says the World Economic Forum founder and executive chairman Klaus Schwab has announced he will step back from his role after more than 50 years at the head of the event, according to the Semaphore News platform. Why now, Klaus? Why now? I'm not going to bore you with the whole story. You can get it from RT News. Why now? Because family, no, no, there's no place safe for these people here. Let me go to Revelation 6. Mm? They're gonna go, we're gonna close it here. We're telling them what is coming. Because Yahweh Shai is coming. They are not gonna be the elite are going to be hiding in their bunkers, like it says in the book of Revelation 6, towards the end here. Hey, eh? it says the seal, the sixth seal, terror. Terror, because what? The Yahweh is known as the king of terror. And his son, the one that he's sending, the king of Israel, the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the king of kings. That's why right. he, the Lord Yahweh, our power Yahweh has given him all judgment. He comes in the same spirit like his father. They all, they both agree. So if the father is terror, and the father owns that title, the king of the power of terror. Guess what? He passed it on to his son. That's what Yahweh is bringing to these people here. They haven't seen anything yet. Let's read Revelation 6 and we're going to end it. Mm. He says here, and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. And lo, there was a great earthquake. That's right. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And the moon became as blood. Mm -hmm. Because remember, the day of the Lord family, it's not going to be a bright, beautiful day. And you know what? People are going to be cutting their lawn. And you know, they have playing some soca music in the background, some reggae, some slow dancing, everybody, some RB, people having high neck cane and getting. No! It's not going to be that. Because in order for you to see the chariot, it has to be dark for the Lord to get his glory. It's going to be a gloomy day. Earthquakes. The earth, you're going to be standing on your feet. Family, the earth is going to rock to and fro like a drunkard. That is what is coming. It says, and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as the fig tree casted her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. The mighty wind, the Lord is, uh, the, uh, what is John is describing here, is what? The, what? the nuclear missile. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it rolled together and even mountain and island will move out of their places. Yeah, some islands are going to be swallowed up. You better believe it. Because the earthquake, tsunami, let's, when it says the 
Let's go to the mushroom cloud. Look at this. Mushroom cloud. Where it says the heaven rolls like a scroll. That is the images. That This is what is coming. This is what is coming. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's the, that's the, that it says it's, it's rolled like a scroll. That's, that's what is referred to as mushroom cloud. When the nuclear missile hits, this is what is coming. So why are they family trying to hide? Hey, why, why, why are they trying to, why all of a sudden this man is what, retiring? Hey, no, because they know what is coming. They know the Bible, the elite. Oh, they know. Oh, they know. This is it. But they think their mind, they think they're going to be saved in their bunkers. They are sadly mistaken. He said, the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island will move out of their places. Family, this is the day of the Lord. Did you get this in the plantation Christianity? No. This in the day of the Lord, everybody's going to be holding flowers and singing, eating candies, eh? cucumber, and maybe some maybe watermelon. Everybody's singing. Everybody's happy. No, it's not going to be a good day for majority of the people living on the earth. He says here, and the kings of the earth, these are the people that the Lord is speaking about, the elite of this society. The Lord is so bad, he put it in their head to build bunkers. You have the elite bragging about they built $100 million bunkers. I think it was, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, the uh, Facebook Facebook CEO, uh, 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 Mark Zuckerberg, talking about, I think he has a place in Hawaii. He spent over $100 million on it. Oh yeah, they know. Oh, they know what is coming. Everybody got a bunker and they have the bunker outside America. What does that tell you? Your leaders are fleeing America. And, the, and then here you are trying to uh, vote. Who are you voting for? If America is so good, don't you think they will be living in America? No, they have homes outside America. Because the Lord is about to judge this place and they know that. Brakata Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. He says, and the heavens, sorry, and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men. You hear that? The great men and the rich men, your athletes, your celebrities, eh? That's right. The one, that's right. The, the, the one that this world loves. That's right. You know, the world is all about what? Celebrities. Hmm? The elite. Let's find out what's going to happen to them. And the chief captains and the mighty men and every born man. Because family, you think Clash Schwab is going to get up in the morning and says, okay, listen, man, where is the kitchen? I want to go and make myself a cup of tea. No, he have slaves. He have servants. All these elite family, they have what? Born men and born women. People, somebody to take care of the lawn, somebody to sweep the place, mop the place, cook for them. That's right. That's what the Lord is, is saying. To, they're going to be hiding in their bunkers with all their servants, their slaves, their mates. Hey? He says here, and the mighty men and every born man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. That family, that's how bad the Lord is. Hey? He put it in their mind to build these bunkers and family, they're going to be in their bunkers enjoying the finest wine because you know how this elite roll family they have the best of everything if they have a wine bottle that costs maybe five thousand dollars a bottle and then they'll have a fancy name for it and they're going to be in their bunkers and they're going to be bragging and drinking and you know what you know shooting pool and maybe they have driving range the theater and then it's going to appear on the big screen image of our power yahweh bashem yahweh showing up showing up showing up with all the angels and family, at that point, they're going to shit their pants and they're going to lose their mind. Some people are just going to get a heart attack and die in their bunkers. Some of these bunkers are going to be their burial ground. And we say, bring the terror upon these demons. And it says, and every, every born man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in their rocks of the mountains. I'm here to tell you, if you have a bunker in America, forget about it. It's, you, if you have an, a bunker, eh, you, you have a, a bunker, uh, what is it called? Uh, a, a, a bunker, yeah, in America, forget about it. Because America is going to be the lake of fire. You're going to just literally be the fuel for the fire. That's what is coming. It says here, Revelation 6, 16, and said to the mountains, eh, and the rock fall on us. You see, when the Lord image appear, when they see the son of man, family, the king of king, the only begotten son, our king, our shy, family, these people are going to shit their pants. They're going to lose their mind. And that's what is coming for them. This is their future. 
Hey, and said to the mountains and rock, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. Who's the lamb? Yahweh Shai. I think it's what? Revelation 5. The Yahweh Shai. And then also somewhere, I think it's where Apostle John says, hey, behold, the lamb of God. That's why Yahweh Shai, our king. Eh? It's a verse, verse 17. He said, For the great day of his wrath is come up, is, is come, and who shall be able to stand? Family, let's read this in the NLT. And this is what is coming. Family, that's why we are rejoicing. We love this word. Mm? We are family excited. This is the song. Hey, family, at one point we were in the church, and family, that song, my family, it made us throw up. But this song here, family, we continue to re uh, press repeat. We can't get enough of it. We can't get enough of it. It says, for the great day of, of their wrath has come. And who is able to survive? Who? Yeah. The elite, they know what's up. Oh, yeah. The elite, oh, they know the king of kings is coming. The society is over. That is why he's coming down with great wrath. That is why he's just killing, assassinating, assassinating, just going buck wild. And Russia is preparing for nuclear because Russia eventually got to step in and take the leadership role. Russia, China, have to, sorry, they have to come together and, and family and go to war. Or guess what? They're going to be. Esau is not stopping. He's going to kill everybody. That's why the law says what? Let's finish here. The law says if he doesn't cut the time short, there shall no flesh be saved. He wasn't joking. Let's go here quickly to Revelation 20. No, is it? No, Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Let's finish there. Matthew 24. Let's pick it up from verse 21. It says here. For then shall be great tribulation. Let's highlight it so you know who is speaking. It's the king of kings speaking. Let's see it. Matthew 24 verse 21. It says here. For then, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, not ever shall be. Family, didn't Daniel say the same thing? Didn't Joel chapter 2 say the same thing? Jeremiah 30 verse 7, the same thing the Lord, yeah, our king is saying. He said, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, not ever shall be. Let's read this thing here in the NLT. In the NLT. Let's go here. It says here, for there will be great, greater anguish than at any time since the world began. And it will never be so great again. Hey, you hear that? It says here, verse 22, and except those days should be shortened. You hear that? And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. You hear that? There should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, because of the elect, hey, that's right. The elect were picked before the foundation of this earth to receive this message. It says here, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You hear that? If the Lord tarries, there shall no flesh be saved. You see where things are heading? That's why Esau knows that he has but a short time. So he's coming down with great wrath. So he is just, he's going to continue to kill, destroy. That is Satan. That's what Satan comes to do. That is Satan. And it's being revealed. That's why. So, beloved, I hope you all edified. I will leave it there. Again, you know, we thank the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, for the inspiration for every single lesson. Without the Holy Spirit, we can't do this. And all inspiration comes from the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. You see? So, again, all praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh. It's our heavenly father and his only begotten son, our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Beloved, I hope you are edified. Again, all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And thank you for tuning in. Shalom.